Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 2 Crystal Souls. I have exchanged the loot from last episode for a tiny bit of training. We didn't really find anything that good. Another pair of steel toed boots for Cimmerine. And Scorn has this Potion of Doom, which sounds awesome, doesn't it? Use Potion of Doom. You burn in agony. Scorn poisoned. Yeah, it's one of those items. But we can't do much more with the blasted ruins just now, so let's head back north. And deal with a couple of random mobs. Okay, that was a bit tiresome. Hmm. Well, let's explore the poisonous swamp. At some point, a whole lot of Nephilim set up some sort of camp here. Garbage, torn skins, rough stone Nephilim weapons, and broken totems litter the floor of the cave. A few feral cats prowl the wreckage, hissing at you when you get close. Okay... I'm not entirely sure what they were doing around here. And I can't find any neat secret passages. Maybe it's just for world-building flavor. That happens sometimes. Hello? Someone hid a bunch of supplies here a long time ago. Most everything has rotted away. However, there is a small white figurine still intact. Simarine gets figure. If I recall, these figures can be used to summon something. But we won't know what until we get it identified. Hmm. Interesting little hole in the ground here. Curing time! And another random fight. Okay, there is actually another group of Nephilim behind that first one. So I think I'm going to take a rest before dealing with the special dot over here. The tunnel dead ends. When you turn, you see a band of humans rushing you. You soon see they aren't running towards anything, but away from the Nephilim chasing them. The humans are extremely outnumbered. Well, we could hide, but we're more the types to help. Something fun about Exile 2 and 3 is you get a lot more of these set-piece battles with uh, both allies and enemies. Oh, I see someone's tried to summon a shade on us. At least this time, the AI of our allies seems to be working reasonably well.
Get him, Tribble. Haha, <laughs> nice. The mage, wounded but still alive, greets you. Thank you, friends. I am Tarek, mage lieutenant of the Army of Exile. You introduce yourselves in return, and tell him of your position in the army. Well, I wish you luck in your endeavors. We're going to head for safety now. Before I go, here's something in return. He hands you a flask. Don't worry, it's standard issue. Don't see them much anymore, though. Good luck. They leave. You look at the flask. It says HEALING on the side in large gold letters. NEAT! Medium healing potion. Oh, that's honestly a little worrying if healing potions have become more of a rare item in the Exile Armed Forces. Usually I don't have too much trouble stocking up on healing items, but that's Admittedly, because I use priest spells for most of my heals. So now we've got this whole area explored. Let's head back to that odd little hole over here. This is the Verdant Valley. It doesn't look all that green or full of life so far. Eh, here's some trees. Oh no, gremlins! Gremlins must die. If I'm lucky, I won't get to show this off much. But gremlins still have the annoying habit of stealing your food when they hit. Also, this appears to be a somewhat larger area. Okay, I guess if uh, you take verdant to mean full of swamp, then this fits. Ooh, is that a fire lizard? I'd be able to tell if I could hit the thing. Or if I just look. Yep, fire lizard. Let's break out the non-fire-based attack spells. I saw a slime, I fi- ow! Lava bat, that's unpleasant. So yeah, the Verdant Valley is large and full of lizards, gremlins, and other assorted nasties. It gets kind of annoying. Let's not go venturing into the center just for now. Oh, hey, stuff, and oh no, gremlin. I'm still amused that you can pick up bones. Quite 
a lot of territory to cover in doing the perimeter of this one. A little stream and some sort of building. Basic model bats are still pretty easy to deal with. I don't like you. Cave slime is still easy pickings. And let's see if we can pick off this bat. Where are all the enemies here? Archer shoots at me. Yeah, this could be tedious. Let's see, detect life. Um, interesting. The map is so big that only most of it can fit on this little map screen at any one time, but I can still see a dot of somebody at the bottom here. And there's someone over around the corner here. And an archer following me. That'll show him. Oh yes, stand right where all three of my fighters can hit you. Yeah, this is going to be long and annoying. Not for you, though. as a frozen ranged people. Res of frozen ranged attackers that are better with arrows than I am so far. But not better with flame spells. And fireball. And another more effective fireball. I should actually cure or at least heal trouble before he lives up to his namesake a little too much. I'm always amused by this uh, stream flowing right through the building. Very Falling Water-esque.
Hello. There you are. Or were. Haha. -ha. And I can't get the gold from here. Probably because I can see the lizard. Why are there so many lizards here? Simmerine, get better at unlocking things. Telemane, you too. Seriously? This better be good stuff they hid behind a locked door. Editing Sarah here. No, it was not. Lousy bandits. There's a stairway leading up into the second floor of the brigands' hideout. Hey guys, here to rob and or murder you. Mostly murder. Soldier? That's not a regular brigand. He still dies like a chump, it just takes a little bit longer. we get poison glue gauntlets <laughs> those are amusing glue gauntlets are a cursed item so named because they will stick on your hands be encumbering give you no defense and generally be useless Another locked door. Lovely. This one has a chest. Hello. You have summoned a cave rat. It will not save you. In this game, though, summons do persist after the summoner dies. If not always for long. E books, books, books. This bookshelf is disappointing. It's filled with crude lichen paper scrolls, covered with the inane or bizarre scribblings of the mages that lived here. They were fascinated with the idea of summoning demons. You doubt they were that competent. Aww. Yeah, it's, I think it's just going to be the same thing every time. 
Oh, nuts. I found something in that one. Among the scrolls filled with deranged ravings, you find a genuine spellbook. The rituals it describes are not complicated, and you can digest them very quickly. You now know the spell Wall of Force. Awesome. Also, I like the little detail of, in this upper level map, he still included uh, bits of the passageways below. You can't get to them, but you can see them, and that's a nice little bit of internal consistency. So there is totally more to explore here, but I think I need to duck out for a rest, if not a full identify session.